good morning. I am headed out to the Amish market. And then later on, I have a date with a very special young man. It's beautiful out here today. It's supposed to be 85 degrees, but I don't think it's supposed to be as humid. But I'm going to enjoy this day. Yes, I am. I gotta make a couple of other stops. Um, I gotta go to the beauty and supply store and oh, Home Depot. Every homeowner's best friend. So I'm going to head to this car and I'll talk to you guys later. So here I am at the Dutch market and all that time I've been calling it the Amish market, but really it's the Dutch Village Farmers Market. So I just came out of the Dutch market and look at this. Well, wait a minute. I got a donut. These are the freaking best donuts. They're moist and sweet. Mm. Mm. And they are homemade. You can taste it. Now, I like um, Krispy Kreme's donuts when they come out as soon as you drop them out of that hot oil and into that glaze. That's good. I inhale those. Those are like, one time my mom and I went to Krispy Kreme and bought a donut. And we went right back in there and got one more because we literally could take that whole donut and shove it in our mouths. Now, wait a minute. My mom's a little lady. And for her to lose it over a donut like that, they had to be good. She's never had these from the Dutch market, but they are good. They taste homemade. They're a little thicker than Krispy Kreme, but they taste better. The glaze, you could taste that it's a powder, powdered sugar glaze. Whereas Dunkin' Donuts, I mean, Krispy Kreme, it's a glaze. Um, but it's, it's, it's definitely artificial. The glaze tastes artificial compared to these, but these are really delicious. So, if you ever come to Upper Marlboro, Maryland, come to the Dutch Village Farmer's Market. These donuts are delicious if you just come get the donuts. I came to get some bacon. They're the only place that sells this black forest garlic bacon. It's really, really good. And then I got some pepper bacon also. But check this place out if you ever come up here. So I just left the movie theater with my son. We went and saw a child's play. It's a tradition that we have ever since he's a little boy. Chucky is one ugly dog, but um, he had to go after the movie, so I'm down here at Easter Market to see if I can find me something to eat. They had this real good Thai restaurant that um, I uh, used to be down here, so I'm going to see if it's still here. The little age um, Thai place that um, I was talking about at Easter Market is still here. 
so I am sitting here and waited and I've uh, just been waiting on and I'm gonna tell you this food is really good. This is one of those spots that um it's, it's a hidden treasure, it really is. So this is some shrimp cakes and their Thai sweet sauce. And right here are their spring rolls. And they're very good. This is one of those authentic Thai restaurants that's independently owned. It's not a franchise. <laughs> and I find these are the best spots to eat because the food is fresh and good and authentic. Mm. And it's hard to find these. There's a um, in Chinatown in DC. You used to could find those kind of places, but not anymore. Everything is like made on a, an assembly line. I found this spot about seven years ago and it's still here. I'm glad to know that. It's really good. So if you ever want good, authentic Thai food in D.C. on Pennsylvania Avenue, Sam Pan Thai cuisine is delicious. It's just a simple, cute little quaint restaurant, clean, and inviting. But I like it. This is Eastern Market. Eastern Market has changed quite a bit since I was a kid. Said I was gonna come down here at the bus stop. Um, there's a bus stop over here, and um, <clears throat> it takes you to Friendship Heights. I said I was gonna come down here and um, take the bus to Friendship Heights. It's about a two and a half hour ride, maybe three hours, but I think it might be, you know, just to see what route it will take me. But this is Easter Market. I didn't, there's a Trader Joe's, I didn't even know it was here. One day I'll catch the train and um, yeah, one day I'll catch the train down here to Trader Joe's. That's the convenience of living in DC. You can catch the train. Or the bus anywhere you want to go. Anywhere you want to go, it's convenient. That's why I haven't had a car. I haven't bought a car. I had a car in I know 10 years or more. Because it's just convenient living in DC.
well, I am home now. I had a fabulous day. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed myself being with myself, by myself, and also later on with my son. And then I had dinner by myself at a fabulous Thai restaurant. So I'm winding down. Um, I'm getting ready to look at ESPN Plus. I believe they got a boxing match coming on tonight. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to sleep because I got a lot of stuff I need to do tomorrow around the house. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be right at home. So I'll see you guys next time. Good night.